my backyard Brian here with another episode of Backyard Brian. Only we're not in the backyard anymore. We're actually out in the wild down by the river and we found a great place to build, show you guys how to build a wilderness survival shelter. So what we're gonna do, I got two little random kids I picked up off the streets. Actually, they're my own kids, ha ha. And they're gonna be helping me out to build our fort and to show you guys the right techniques and the right thing to do to get shelter in the wild. Now shelter is your number one priority. Bye. Bye. Your number one priority is shelter because you don't want to be exposed to the elements to, uh, if there's a storm or something that rolls up on you and then you'll be in some serious trouble if you get wet and you can't fight off that cold. Now there's three main things you need to be concerned about while building a shelter. Number one, keep in the heat. Number two, keep out the animals. And number three, make sure it's structurally sound. That's really it. Here. We're looking for sticks to build them a fort. Yeah. We're gonna build a fort? Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, we're gonna build a fort. How right, many sticks do we want? Lot, big, and little. <laughs> big and little? Yeah, little fort inside and big fort outside. All right. So I'm just going to not try to expend too much energy uh, walking around far distances, but really stick around the area. And we're in a nice wooded area here, so uh, we got pretty lucky. Now we found this good tree over here that was already leaning up against the uh, these other trees, and we're gonna use that as our back. This is a great setup. We've got lots of leaves for insulation. We've got a good backbone to start off with, and we're just gonna simply make a teepee, uh, use this tree as a shelter. What's nice about this is that we're also down by the river and so we got some nice sand uh, to be kind of a insulator and a bedding for us as we uh, of course uh, might spend the night out here. We're not going to but if we needed to. Oh, good job. All right now we got, we're starting to get this wall built here and we want to insulate it. So we're getting a nice line of sticks here. You can see the nice line of sticks lining up there. And then we're actually putting a bunch of leaves on top of them and then layering more sticks on top of those. So it gives you a nice insulated wall. We're gonna try to take that wall all the way down to there and get this nice teepee or lean to. Good one? Yeah. Hmm. All right. All right, so we got Harlow here. <laughs> tonight making a nice bed for us. And there's our lean to underneath it's there. It's not a bed, it's for my book oh. area. So we have one layer of stick, <gasps> then we have a layer daddy. of leaves. Okay, Dad. And then we have Ow. more sticks to hold in the leaves. Good job, good job. With other workers, this work goes by quite fast and you don't waste too much energy in building a nice little shelter for the night. I could chop sticks with this axe! Whoa. Oh yeah! They could do backflips! Alright, so here's our fort. You can see how all those sticks are holding up those leaves and the leaves are sandwiched in between another pile of sticks on top. So that'll help keep our insulation in keep the war the the wind out and uh it's a good lean to situation all right ladies and gents so i got my shelter made and as you can see it basically fits me and it's a nice warm comfy place that i can just lay down and stay out of the the hurricanes and the tornadoes and the weather to keep dry so there you have it if I wanted to go and make a bigger one and have more room, I'd spend a little bit more time, but this is perfectly sufficient for one or two nights just to stay out of the, out of the cold, huh? All right, chaps, that's it for tonight. Your challenge is to, of course, under adult supervision or uh, parental guardian permission, you can also go out and build your own wilderness survival fort. I don't want any forts collapsing on anybody and having parents call me and tell me it's my fault. So 
The challenge is to do get permission and to build a shelter, take a picture of it and post it on our chat page for our for our class. But there's my lean to shelter and that's how to stay insulated and warm for the night. That's your lesson for today. Backyard brine over and out. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Whoa. This is incredible. <laughs>